Welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Um, today we wanted to take a look at CPS's wireless refrigerant charging scale. There's a, there's a bunch of charging scales out on the market. You know, technicians uh, weighing charges in, recovering for refrigerant, we're always going to have to use those, uh, have a good scale when we're, when we're performing those tasks. And so um, in this age of everything going digital, you know, CPS has come out with one that we kind of want to take a look at today. And so if we just read here on a little bit, you know, uh, some of the things that it has, um, you know, you can weigh the charge in, re recover your refrigerant. You got a tank tracker where you can actually um, t track what's being taken or added to a particular tank. You got, your, of course, your indoor and outdoor use. Um, and then uh, the coolest thing are these ports here that you can actually use inside of your charging. So let's unbox this thing, take it out, and, and see what's on the inside of it. So one of, the, one of the first things you notice is that it's got a pretty durable case, very slender um, and slim, easy to carry um, and things like that so that you can easily store it you know, on your truck. And then once you open it, the actual, the actual scale itself is, is, relatively, is relatively small, but it's got enough surface area there for you to be able to um, uh, your, take your refrigerator tanks or whatever you have on there to, to weigh it. There is those two ports that, that you can actually use in the charging process. And on the inside of your instruction manuals here, um, you, can, you can actually see, let me move that up where you can see it. On your instructions there, you can actually see how you actually hook up um, all of the hoses and the charging um, process there using the scale in those two particular ports. So if you happen to purchase this, make sure you read the instructions very carefully because there's some, some pretty important things there you want to make sure that you, you, um, you follow. The other thing is uh, you notice that there wasn't anything to actually uh, uh, that tells you the numbers. So that's going to be an app that you have to download on your phone and inside there it has the instructions for your, your, your Apple phones or your, or your Android phones, whatever user you, per, you are, to download those apps and then go ahead and do that. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the app. Uh, one of the things that's really cool is when I downloaded the app to the phone there, um, when I downloaded the app to the phone, it was really quick. I mean, it, it didn't take maybe 10 seconds um, for it to download and opened it right up. Um, it asks you to a lot to sync up with the the nearest scale. I mean, and it did it almost instantly. Sometimes, when you're when you're using apps, it may take them a a, uh, a little while to recognize or locate the device that you're trying to sync up with. But that's one of the things that I noticed that was really fast about this particular one is that it synced up really quick. It didn't start out at zero, so you know you can tear it out and make sure that it. It goes from there. Once you're, once you have that, then you're pretty much ready to go. At that point in time, you can just take whatever you have and we'll weigh something here. We'll weigh something and throw something on the scale and see what we got. I just grabbed the nitrogen tank that I had sitting here. And if we put that on on our scale there, we'll see that it gives us a, a readout and a number um, to let us know how heavy our tank is now. One of the cool things about this is we could actually save that and then we could go to tools. There's a bunch of different settings there on your screen. You go to tools and now if this were a particular job, um, a particular client, you've had to go and add a refrigerant several different times and you wanted to track that, you could save all of that information here, email it out to your service manager, whoever's at the, back at the shop so you can keep a very detailed log of what's going on. Especially with all the changes that we're having in the EPA and with different refrigerants, as technicians we want to make sure that we're on top and we're, we're properly documenting um, our refrigerant usage and the removal of refrigerant from systems. So this is your CPS uh, wireless refrigerant charging scale. Um, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Hey, we absolutely love our HVAC community. We want you to continue to tune in. We want you to continue to, to leave us your, your comments. Um, make sure you click below 
to subscribe. We definitely want to hear from you and we'll see you next time.